Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some really fun battles featuring Shadow Charizard in the Great League Remix Cup. Shadow Charizard is definitely a risky pick, as it is quite glassy, but it can output some truly insane levels of damage. I paired it up with a Toxicroak lead and Shadow Golbat as the closer. This is not a team I'd recommend for climbing, but I did wanna share the battles to showcase the raw damage output from Shadow Charizard. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out Shadow Charizard in action in the Remix Cup. Hopping into the first match, picking up a fantastic lead Toxicroak into Vigoroth. Opponent Sage switches into a Frostlass, and it is Shadow Charizard time. As you can see, these fire spins are absolutely tearing through Frostlass. I will shield up the Avalanche, overfarm quite a bit, and go for the Dragon Claw just before they're able to reach a second move. We have almost fully farmed down a Frostlass with nothing but fast moves. They're able to reach a last second Avalanche, and I'm perfectly fine with double shielding here. This way, I do keep switch advantage, and I leave with a ton of energy for whatever's in the back. They bring in Politoed, and I'm going straight for the Blast Burn. Shadow Charizard does not care about typings, as Blast Burn does massive damage onto the Politoed. Politoed tries to overfarm, but they're gonna have to shield this Dragon Claw as it would KO. They are gonna fire off a Weather Ball, and I'm perfectly fine with Shadow Charizard getting taken out here, as it almost took out two entire Pokemon from my opponent. Politoed not going to be able to reach the Blizzard. Shadow Golbat is able to reach the Poison Fang, which does take out the Politoed. Opponent sees the writing on the wall and concedes the match. Hopping into the next match, picking up a slightly negative lead, Toxicroak into Shadow AWAC. Opponent save switches into a Shadow Hitmonchan, and honestly, I'm perfectly fine with staying in here. This is a way better matchup for my Toxicroak, so I am more than happy to stay in, shield once, and farm all the way down. And now, if they bring back in the AWAC, which they do, we have a ton of loaded energy to pressure some shields. Mud Bomb number one does get the shield. I throw another counter, and I'm going for Mud Bomb number two. This will do a nice amount of damage, so the opponent commits the second shield, but Toxicroak not quite done, able to reach a third Mud Bomb. That is going to be getting the Shadow AWAC very low. Shadow AWAC does leave with quite a bit of energy, so I'm gonna bring in the Shadow Golbat to absorb the energy, and then up a shield, Shadow Charizard should be able to close. In comes Charizard, and in the back is Registeel, and this Registeel is not going to appreciate the Blast Burn. Blast Burn, one-shotting the Registeel, and back in comes the Alolan Marowak. I believe this is only enough for a Bone Club. We are saving our shield. Bone Club, not nearly enough to KO, and that is a good game. Tough lead in the next match, Toxicroak into Frostlass. Frostlass is a pretty big core breaker for the team. I'm gonna save switch into Shadow Charizard, and my opponent responds with Pelipper. This is another core breaker. Shadow Charizard going straight for the Blast Burn. Massive damage onto the Pelipper. Shadow Charizard does not care about typings. Nearly able to one-shot with a resisted move. I commit the shield farm down, and I'm able to win back switch advantage. My opponent is going to be waiting the switch clock, and then back in comes the Frostlass. I'm expecting them to shield, so I am gonna be going for the Dragon Claw bait here. Dragon Claw does get the shield. Shadow Charizard able to reach a last second Dragon Claw before I get Powder Snow down, and that does grab the final shield. That is fantastic. I still do have a very healthy Toxicroak. Toxicroak, unfortunately, is not able to reach a move. I should barely be able to survive this. Avalanche does massive damage. In the back, they have Lickitung. I'm able to reach a last second Mud Bomb. This is gonna do some solid chip damage. At this point, I'm gonna try and farm down with Golbat and leave with a Shadow Ball. I'm probably gonna have to throw a Poison Fang first because Lickitung is very tanky, but that's basically the win con at this point, is hoping that Frostlass does not have a move loaded. Poison Fang, able to connect, and now we're gonna have to go for a farm down. I believe a Body Slam plus Licks will KO from this range, so I am going to commit the shield and then try and go for the farm down. Golbat, able to do so. Do they have a move? They do, and we lose a heartbreakingly close match. Frostlass takes out the Golbat. And that is a good game. Hopping into the next match, letting Toxicroak into Shadow Politoed. This is a bit of a tricky lead for Toxicroak, but I am gonna stay in and play it out because I want to try and keep this Politoed away from my Shadow Charizard. They're going for the Weather Ball and we are able to tank it. I'm gonna farm up and go for the Mud Bomb bait. I am expecting them to shield here, so I do go for the Mud Bomb. They call the bait and they're going for Weather Ball number two. 
At this point, they should be farmed down range for Shadow Charizard. So I actually let that go. Bring in the Charizard and I'm able to get a nice farm. My opponent brings in Mandibuzz, so they don't have a great response to a flyer in the back. So that should hopefully mean I'm in a pretty good spot here. I go straight for the Blast Burn and my opponent respects it. Shadow Charizard, I'll be honest, does get shielded quite a bit because opponents can recognize the raw damage output that it can do. I'm gonna farm up and go for a Dragon Claw Bait. If they shielded once, I'm thinking they'll do it again, and they do. The Air Slashes are really adding up on Charizard, but we are going to be able to reach the Blast Burn after we commit this final shield. We shield up, we reach the Blast Burn, and this is easily going to be taking care of the Mandibuzz. Blast Burn, taking them out. In the back, they have Shadow Granbull, and this game is over. Shadow Golbat is comfortably going to be able to reach a Shadow Ball here. Shadow Ball is easily going to be taking down the Shadow Granbull, and that is a good game. Hopping into the next match, setting Toxicroak into Tentacruel. This is a pretty nice lead for Toxicroak. Even though they are resisting our counters, Tentacruel has to farm all the way up to a Hydro Pump if they want to do any meaningful damage. That is not a Hydro, so I am going to No Shield the Acid Spray. And from here, I should be able to reach back-to-back -back Mud Bombs before they're able to reach a second move. Mud Bomb does get the shield. Toxicroak going for the next, but a very nice catch by my opponent as they're able to catch the Mud Bomb onto Vigoroth. I am debuffed, and I don't really want to get farmed down, so I'm just going to bring in Shadow Charizard. Shadow Charizard does kind of have to shield everything in this matchup. As I mentioned, it can output a tremendous amount of damage, but it is very glassy. You know what? I am going to commit the final shield here, because the reason being, I can farm down and leave with a ton of energy, and a Shadow Charizard with double Blast Burns loaded is an incredibly scary Pokemon to go up against. Blast Burn, massive resisted damage on a Tentacruel, and I'm going for the Dragon Claw right after. This will easily KO if they let it through. They do, and in the back, they have Gliscor, so this game should be over. I'm going for the Dragon Claw. This will be doing a nice amount of damage onto the Gliscor, and from here, Shadow Golbat is very safely going to be able to close out the match. They can either hit for neutral with the non-stab Night Slash, or go for this single resisted earthquake. Either way, Golbat tanks it no problem. They go for the EQ, we're able to survive that, and we reach the Poison Fang, and this will be game over, as Golbat able to take down the Gliscor, and that is a good game. Hopping into the next match, letting Toxicroak into Shadow Machamp, a fantastic lead. Opponent is going to immediately save switch into Beedrill, and bad news for the opponent, we have the perfect response in Shadow Golbat. Drill Run is still going to be doing quite a lot of damage in this matchup, so I am going to want to throw a move before they reach a second. I farm up, I throw just before they reach it, and it ends up being CMP as they decided to go for an X Scissor. Thankfully, X Scissor not nearly enough to KO. I'm just going to no bubble the Poison Fang, and then continue the farm down. This way I will leave with a ton of energy, so if they bring back in the Machamp, I should be able to reach two Poison Fangs. They are waiting the Switch Clock, and in comes the Machamp. Going to be going for the Poison Fang at first, and then hopefully being able to get to a second. We get a shield, and now we're able to reach the second Poison Fang. They know this is just a Poison Fang. They let it through, but that does a ton of damage. I bring in the Toxicroak, and in the back it is Kofagrigus, and this game is over. Shadow Charizard with the shield advantage will easily be able to close out this match. I go for the Dragon Claw bait. Dragon Claw gets the shield, and now it is Blast Burn time. All we have to do is start using those shields. We haven't yet. No time like the present. Shadow Charizard just not able to get to the Blast Burn, but again, we still have that second shield. We shield up the Shadow Ball, and now it is bye-bye Kofagrigus. Blast Burn taking down the coffin, and that is a good game. Hopping into the next match, leading Toxicroak into Tropius. This is incredibly bad if they have Air Slash. I'm going to check the fast move, but they're running Razor Leaf, thank goodness. My entire team does incredibly well against Razor Leafers, so I'm going to stay in and go for the Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb does get the shield, and now I can save switch into Shadow Charizard, and my opponent responds with Alolan Grimer. I'm up on shield, so I am not baiting. Going straight for the Blast Burn, but my opponent respects the damage. I am starting to get quite low on this Charizard. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make a second Blast Burn here. They're going for the farm down. I can't get there. I'm only able to reach a Dragon Claw. Is this enough? It is, and Shadow Charizard able to win Switch Advantage. That is absolutely fantastic. My opponent is able to raise relief down with Tropius, but we have a hard counter for Tropius in Shadow Golbat. 
I don't have to shield a thing here. They end up going for the Leaf Blade. We tank that no problem. And in the back, they have Reggie Steel. I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball as this will do a nice amount of damage. And then from there, I can probably just commit to the farm down with Toxicroak. They are going to be able to reach a Zap Cannon. I will decide to commit the shield at the last second here. And then I think I can farm down before they reach another move. Come on, Toxicroak. Able to farm down. And we leave with the Sludge Bomb loaded. Sludge Bomb is easily going to be enough to take down the Tropius. And that is a good game. Hopping into the next match, leading Toxicroak into Zangoose. Zangoose is a very cool spice pick, but really does not like this Toxicroak lead. Opponent save switches into their own Toxicroak. I'm going to bank a ton of energy and then bring in Shadow Golbat. Shadow Golbat has a dominating matchup here, so I'm perfectly fine with giving Toxicroak an energy lead because their energy doesn't do a whole lot in this matchup. This should only be a Mud Bomb, so I should be able to comfortably no shield this, farm down, and leave very little farm for the Zangoose, but leave with two Poison Fangs loaded. Opponent is waiting out their Switch Clock, and back in comes the Zangoose. I'm going straight for the Poison Fang here. They know they don't have to shield this, but they may need to shield the second, as this is going to be doing massive damage. Second Poison Fang nearly takes them out, and in the back, they have Pidgeot. This is a bit scary, because Shadow Charizard really does not appreciate the gust damage here. Shadow Charizard definitely not the tankiest mon ever. I build up to the Blast Burn and I'm baiting with the Dragon Claw. Hoping to grab a shield and we do. Pidgeot looks like they're going for a farm down and they decide to throw. This is tough. I will commit the shield and then I'm going to fire off a Dragon Claw. I'm debuffed, but I'm hoping they're still going to commit the shield because I do have a lot of energy on Toxicroak. We do get the shield and we're going to be able to connect with the Sludge Bomb from Toxicroak. Toxicroak Sludge Bomb easily taken down the Pidgeot and that is a good game. Hopping to the next match, picking up the Nightmare lead Toxicroak into Hypno. This is a massive problem because my entire team loses to Hypno. I save switch into the Shadow Golbat, taking massive confusion damage, and they're going to respond with the Gyarados. I should be able to force a shield here, otherwise I can take back switch, because two Poison Fangs is going to be enough to KO. So I am going for Poison Fang number two. Gyarados decides to no shield, and then they bring in their final Pokemon, which is Porygon 2. My opponent definitely bring in the Spice, but this is still going to be a very difficult match, because I have zero response to the Hypno. Trying to reach another Poison Fang, but my opponent throws to try a tag just before I'm able to get there. I'm going to bring in the Toxicroak and I'm going to have to tank the damage here. I'm going to save two shields for the Charizard and hopefully Charizard can clutch this for me. In comes that Hypno into the Shadow Charizard. And as you're going to see, these confusions are absolutely tearing through Charizard. Charizard doing its best and going to fire back with the Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw is going to be grabbing a shield from the Hypno. And the Hypno is already at another move, and things are not looking good for me whatsoever, as it looks like Hypno is going to be able to farm down. I'm going to fire off a Dragon Claw, hoping I can try and reach a third. I desperately need to be able to. Charizard gets farmed down, and we lose the match. Hopping into the final match, letting Toxicroak into Lickitung. This is a pretty nice lead for Toxicroak, but Lickitung can absolutely put up a fight in this matchup. They're going to be able to fire off a Body Slam. I don't have to shield this, but it is going to be doing a lot of damage onto the Toxicroak. Toxicroak tanks a move and then fires back with the Sludge Bomb. This will be getting the Lickitung very low. We're able to get it low, and then I'm able to snipe it with the Shadow Charizard. This does give me an energy lead because up energy Charizard is very scary. My opponent then brings in in Alolan Marowak. So they don't have a great response to Charizard, and then they decide to go for a Bone Club. I decide to shield it, wouldn't have done a whole lot, but just in case, and we figure out why they wanted the chip damage because they have a Charmer in back. We go straight for the Blast Burn, it connects, and I'm able to farm down. Back in comes the Alolan Marowak, and I'm just gonna start spamming out Dragon Claws here. As at this point, they have two shields, they have to start shielding something. We're able to grab the first shield. I could not tell you why I didn't throw a Dragon Claw there. I'm just going to blame it on it almost being 2 a.m. Now in comes the Shadow Golbat, and unfortunately this AWAC does have a move. That would be doing a decent amount of damage, so I do decide to commit the shield, and then I fire off the Poison Fang. My reasoning here was that they're low enough that I can threaten a wing attack farm down. We're actually able to get a shield. We're farming up. I switch back in the Toxicroak for some reason and we're able to reach a last second Mud Bomb. So some interesting 2 a.m. plays in this match, but we're still able to get the win. 
All in all, I had a ton of fun getting to run Shadow Charizard again. It is a very high risk, high reward Pokemon as it's very glassy, but it can output an incredible amount of damage. As to the team, I wouldn't recommend using the team that I ran. It does have a lot of ABA weaknesses that can definitely make it tough to use. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.